Hello everyone, and in this video, I'm gonna be walking through how you can get started spinning up your own quote unquote damn vulnerable web application. And this is a project uh, that is on GitHub that allows you to get started practicing your skills in a very controlled environment where you can start practicing common vulnerability exploits, brute force attacks, stuff like that. And so the reason why this is so important is because you want to not harm anyone else's stuff to be ethical. So ideally you spin this up on your own local computer and you can practice doing stuff that uh, is all inside of your own environment and you're not gonna be harming anyone else. So to get started, uh, we have uh, this GitHub page right now. This is the only place you should ever be downloading DVWA. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my terminal and I'm going to change directory to my documents and my repos folder. And then I'm going to run the command and I'll make this bigger for you guys, git clone, and then we'll just paste in this uh, URL right there. And what that's gonna do is create a copy of this from GitHub. So we're downloading the official GitHub repo um, of DVWA. And then once it finishes, I'm going to now open up uh, VS Code on my computer. Um, you can use whatever IDE you want. Um, but in my case, I'm gonna open it up by just hitting Command-O, I'm gonna go to Repos, and uh, this was the name of that repo that uh, we just downloaded. So I'm gonna click Open right here. We are now inside of this thing, and so the very first thing you're gonna do in here um, is you can read through the readme if you'd like to, but if you're gonna be using Docker and you already have Docker installed as I have, um, you're going to hit Control and then tilde. It'll pull up the terminal in VS Code. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run this command docker-compose up-d. And so basically what this is going to do is it's going to download all of the images that Docker needs to run and it's going to then run them inside of a container. And so it's doing a lot of the heavy lifting that other people have to do locally on their machines. Okay, and so once it finishes, uh, you're not gonna get any message because we have that dash D flag to run it in a detached mode. Um, but if you do open up a web browser on your computer, so I'm gonna open up a Chrome tab right here, and we're going to go to this site, localhost port 4280, so colon 4280, it automatically redirects you to this login page. And if you read through the readme, um, the default username is admin and the password is password all lowercase. And so you can see that uh, even Chrome is telling us that's bad. Uh, but basically, once you get in here, um, it's going to tell you that uh, it still hasn't set up a database yet. Um, so what we can do is we can scroll down and we're going to click on this create reset database. And we're going to let this thing uh, go through its motions. Again, we're gonna kick back to the login page. So we'll type in again the admin and password credentials. And now you can see that we have the DVWA site up and running locally on our machine so that we can begin to work through some of these exercises like the brute force uh, attack that uh, they'll let you practice doing inside of your Docker container that's running on your local machine. So um, this is the far safer, easier way and uh, to get started with this stuff. And so in future videos, we can start going through how to actually run these commands uh, and, and go through these lab exercises. But for the sake of a simple introduction, um, there you go. So hope this is helpful stuff. Thanks all for watching and be well.